All right. Oh. All right, so I'm making a video for anybody um, in their pit bull. If you've ever had an issue where it stops working or, I mean, there could be a multitude of different things. Uh, it runs and then stops or Maybe you go to plug it in and the light comes on on the indicator and it says 100 and then it goes 88 or just random, just like an error code. <clears throat> so I've had this now since 2019 and I called about a warranty because they only honor a year warranty on these. So you get 12 months. Uh, but I think if you get it from some other uh, sellers other than Pitbull, they honor sometimes like a year or two or uh, more. I'm not 100% sure, but what uh, what I know is that this is one durable little guy here. Um, so I'm going to open it up real quick and show you uh, a quick way to check and see if it's like actually dead. <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all the scenarios just like opening it up because I couldn't find a video of anybody actually opening one of these up. If your warranty is up, uh, they're not going to give you a new one. So if you have one and you broke it or say dropped it. So what was happening to me is as I'm using it, cause I use it like, like this, right? So that's where the fingers are at and I'm going around in circles. Like I've made in one of the videos I did. And it's always worked for me. I think on the inside here, just the little little uh, swivel there that, that holds the actual uh, the head in there, either starts to just wear out like normal and it's plastic, so it's definitely possible. And, and or it's the head doing that, like on the end where you clip it in, <clears throat> it, it's starting to wear out or it's just loose. So when you twist it, it sits in and then you're using this and you're going around in your circles. And as you do that, you twist out the head. And I mean, you can hold it like this. It's probably safer now uh, down the road just to hold it on the sides or, you know, like this if you want <clears throat> without keep hitting the button. So I would probably just hold it from the side and do your circles. Uh, but even then the head could fall out. So definitely check and make sure you have a nice snug fit in there. And if it's not snugly fitting, um, my only suggestion would be to try to get a new head for it. But, uh, um, this is just, again, just a quick video reference on opening it. Um, because I'm sure a lot of people have probably already done that and I just haven't seen any videos on it. So, so, you know, you just get like, uh, you're going to need a smaller screwdriver set. This is a, I wear a screwdriver set, by the way, which is really, really good screwdrivers. I'm in electronics, so this is something I use on a regular basis. And you'll see on your pit bull, you'll have your four spots there. So what you want to do is you want to get a super small screwdriver, really tiny guy, and you're going to like fish the plastic out, or fish the rubber seals out, okay? And just like so. If you hear anything in the background, don't mind it. Got a bunch of little kids, so. Occasionally they get yelled at. <laughs> All right. So that was simple enough. You just pop out the little rubber, uh, little rubber hole covers there, and then. So one of the mistakes I made when I first opened it was um, I'm pretty sure I like, I don't know, whatever I did, I loosened one of. The, there's like a little uh, bracket in there and it's made out of plastic and the one side gets much more loose than the other because it's thin it's thin plastic so so
So I'm not sure this is going to, this is probably not going to fix everyone's problems, but considering it's simple enough, and if your warranty is up, you really have nothing to lose other than just your pit bull if it stops working. But I mean, this thing has been dropped many times. This is the first time it's happened. And I mean, obviously it's my fault for dropping it, but it might be a common problem that we're all facing. So when you own this, it's kind of nice to see like, is it fixable? And it's really simple, small little circuit board. And um, that's pretty much it. And then you got, you got your battery and then you have your hookup. So I messed mine up. Um, I already told you that. I don't know if that piece came out. Okay, so <clears throat> if you look here, I dropped mine from a high distance. So you got this piece right here. I'm sorry, I'm shaking. You got this piece right here. And I had to glue mine back in. I used uh, a double-sided Gorilla Glue Tape. And it worked fine. It held this plastic circle in pretty good. As you can see, like I put the double sided tape there and I just made a little hole in it. So that way, but this whole, like this little coupling, like right under my index finger there, a little coupling where you see the screw coming through that goes around this part right here under this other index finger and it holds it in place. So unfortunately for the design, they made, so all the screws are coming out now. They made this side of this, this little plastic piece right here, um, really flimsy. Yeah, it's just a, something they, you know, it's the batteries underneath it. So I think they had to make it thinner. This side's really sturdy, so. Yeah, unfortunately for that design, um, it makes it possible to break. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, bud. You're good. Just call when you're done. Um, so here's all that happened. I dropped this thing from a high distance. I looked inside. I don't see any solder points broken, right? Real simple. A little board, two solder marks for power. Um, it runs... I better be careful. I'm going to break these solder points, but it runs onto the board <clears throat> and then you have a battery, like probably a little lithium battery there, rechargeable, obviously. Uh, so you can see the duct tape on mine. So let's see if I turn it on, mine runs. Prior to me doing this and opening it up, it didn't run. All that happened, and this is something that happens common in electronics, especially small ones. The battery came dislodged downward. The little clip here where I put showed you where the tape was at on the on the face plate broke. So it kind of, um, I'm guessing, it just, it was holding tension on the battery down, which the contact came separated from the battery. So all that happened was the battery slid upwards and because of that little broken piece that I like jerry-rigged together, um, it, it wouldn't allow it to hold pressure down on the battery so it's not making contact with the other end um, of the circuit board there. So you're not getting any power from the battery. And occasionally you would get power, which it might have been just sitting in the right angle where it was touching it, but it wasn't charging, it wasn't doing anything. So all I did was push it down up against that contact, turned it on, and it worked fine. Now, I haven't used it again yet. Um, but it's gonna work the same. It's still spinning, it still has power. The only problem that I see about taking apart is, well, in my case, it didn't go back together perfectly. But um, also, this gasket that they, that they have on here, this little gasket is a pain in the butt to keep putting it back on, because it takes a couple times you have to take it apart uh, or move it around. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. But the uh, other pain in the butt part is, is that these plastic pieces, I guess they probably break and it takes the tension off of that battery up against that contact. So like I said, I used, you know, just cut around it and put some duct tape and pushed it down a little bit. 
and, um, and it works fine. I also took two screwdrivers, little ones, and bent that other side of the contact. You'll see it in there, and I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to show you, but it's on this side of the battery. There's a little contact in there. And even with the clarity of 4K, or whatever megapixel this is, or the you know, quality of the video, you can't see that. But you'll see it when you take it apart. You just put one screwdriver in at the bottom, and then the other, and you'd be very careful, bend it sort of like a boomerang. So that when you push the battery down, it's touching, no matter what. Then I put it in place with, uh, with duct tape, and it works. The gasket didn't slide down perfectly for me because I can't close it completely the way I did before, but there is a rubber seal on it. So it should work. And even after moving it, it still runs like a champ. So hopefully the water doesn't get into the cracks or crevice. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or anything or anything you want to know about how to fix this, uh, you can comment in the description or in the comment section under, underneath. But yeah, I haven't seen a video about anybody opening this up and I'm sure there's a lot of vo voided warranties out there. And as you can tell, I definitely need to shave, but uh, it doesn't look too, too bad from this angle. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Zach Paul, man. I'm gonna keep putting out little videos, probably talking about stuff with, uh, with balding and that's my crazy girlfriend. And you could be happy being bald, so don't, <laughs> Don't let it stretch you out, fellas um, and women if anything happens. I mean, you can still look good.